I love this color. Absolutely gorgeous. We got a glueless install. I ain't even mad. Like I would straight leave the house like this. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So I don't know if y'all can see this flickering. My lights are flickering. I don't know what's going on. But today we are doing a hair install and this is from the brand Eunice Hair. This is a 24 inch, 24 inch. Yes, honey, this is not my norm, but you know, you gotta try new things. 24 inch body wave biolage wig. It is a T part. So that is something new for me as well. Everything is new <laughs> with this wig, but this is how it turned out. I will let you guys see everything in this video before we get started. If you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. And yeah, we do hair, makeup, nails, the works, lots of hauls. I love to shop, so you will get to see that too, plus a little bit of fitness. So if you wanna see how I got this look, how I installed and styled this wig, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so let's jump straight into the specs of this hair. I'm excited, but I'm a little bit nervous because honestly, it's a T-part and I don't normally do those. I normally do the full lace, so this is a little different for me, but I'm excited to try it. So this is a wig from the brand Eunice Hair. Eunice, you nice? Eunice, I'm gonna say Eunice. Um, they reached out to me and asked if they could send me a wig to review, and of course I was like, yes. So they sent me a highlighted body wave wig. So that's what we're working with today. I'll insert a picture here of what it looks like. This is the Eunice Biolage number FB30 body wave lace front T-part wig. It says shadow root, which basically just means that it's the roots are dark and then the color comes and then it does say that it has baby hairs human hair the one that they sent me y'all she is long 24 inches <laughs> who am i with this long hair let's get into the box i know you guys want to see so this is part of the bet bet you b-e-t-t-y-o-u says right there series and it says it's 100% human hair wig. Cap size on this is a medium, which is what I normally order, but I feel like they still look different or feel different depending on the brand. So this is everything out of the box. So we'll go through this little package first. In this little drawstring bag, we have some earrings, which I can wear these for the video. Let me see if I can pull one out and show y'all. They're actually kind of cute. So that's what the earrings look like. They're kind of cute. All right, we can put that on, make the hair look good. Then we also got wig caps, of course. And is this one or two? Did they really only send just one? Huh. I've been getting two lately, okay. Another baby hair brush. Never have enough of those. And that is it, so this is the hair right here i'm gonna have to back up so you guys can see this is what we are working with she is long long i don't even know if i could back up far enough to show you guys what it looks like i'm not gonna do too much to customize it my last install i did i had actually customized it before but i want you guys to see this straight out the pack so it does come with two combs here in the front and then there's also a comb in the back. And then you have your adjustable straps. So this is the construction on the inside. You see the T part there. And then just your regular standard cap in the back. So I'm just gonna put this on my head right now just to see what it looks like and how it fits. And I just have my hair in a bun in the back, nothing special so let me back up 
This is the length of the hair. So that is 24 inches. Definitely the longest of any, might be the longest of anything that I have, but yeah, that's the hair there. So I am 5'4". If that gives you an idea of how long it'll be. All right, so right off the bat, we all know me and center parts. It's funny, I never wore a center part and then that's the first thing that I did on my channel. This is a center part. I know people normally wash their units and do all that stuff before, no shedding, um, but I don't really wanna do all that today. I just wanna be able to put it on for you guys straight out the pack, let you see what you're getting, style it a little bit, and then go from there. But Oh, maybe a little bit of shedding, but not bad at all. So I don't know if you guys can see here. These are not, let me take it off and look at the cap construction. The color actually is pretty good for me. So won't have to do too much, maybe add some powder. Yeah, these knots are not bleached. So we're just gonna put some powder on the inside to Hide them. I do have other stuff. Let me put this closer so you guys can see. I do have other stuff to help with the knots, but I just, I haven't really played with it yet. So I don't want to try to do something new today. All right, I went ahead and I put a little bit of powder on the lace and I put my wig cap on underneath. So we do have that on. I don't think I told y'all the full specs of this. This is also a 13 by five. And it, like I said, it is a T part and it is just the Swiss lace. So it's not any of this new, fancy, transparent, HD, invisible, none of that stuff. So the wig actually feels pretty good on my head and I have a big head. We've already talked about that, so. I put this one on, I didn't adjust the straps or anything like that. I don't have my wig grip on. And as you can see here on the sides, it's fitting pretty well around my ears. So we're just gonna do, I know I need to pluck this a little bit in the front. So I am gonna do that, but we're just gonna get into it and see what we can do with it. So let's go. slick back the hair off my forehead so I can see the hairline. She is not pre-plucked at all. So definitely gonna do a little bit of that. I'll take a little more time and do it off my head on my mannequin head. But for right now, I really just wanted you guys to see what the hair looked like, how easy it is to install, and this color because it is absolutely gorgeous. So that is about it I'm gonna do for the plucking. I'd rather do it more on my mannequin head because I can actually see a little better and make sure that I'm not over plucking because Lord knows that is a real thing. So at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get this as flat as I can. So I'm gonna use my even spray and I'm gonna use that to melt the lace in the front and then we will finish styling it and I will let you guys see the final look. I will say that I do feel like these knots are a little bigger than some of the other wigs that I've had. I'm not sure if that's just because it's a T part or what. And then when I was plucking, I felt like the hair was coming out, but the knot wasn't. I don't know if y'all have ever experienced that before, but yeah, that's what's going on right now. Let's go ahead and finish styling it. So again, I'm just gonna take my alcohol and make sure my forehead doesn't have anything on it, which it may have powder and wax right now. And I 
did put oil on my hair underneath my cap just to make sure my hair stays nice and hydrated. I used one layer of my Got To Be Ultra glued styling gel and I'm going to go ahead and let that dry. I'll blow dry it a little bit, but of course you wanna let that dry first. So I went ahead and put the wig down on where I placed the gel and I'm gonna go ahead and use my spray. I'm gonna use this on top. This hairline is pretty thick, so when you do your plugging, you're gonna have to do a lot. Which I think that looks good. Five head gang, where we at? All right, so that layer is dry, so I'm gonna move to the sides. The sides do cover my sideburns pretty much all the way, so I'm happy about that, because normally we don't have that. So now that it's on, I feel like it looks like a little, little light for my skin tone, but not an issue. We can put foundation on that. As you can see, a little bit of my baby hairs are out, so I'm probably going to attempt to do some little swoops, but we will see. I'm gonna cut the other side of the lace off right now. I'm gonna do that off camera. I'm probably gonna put another layer of spray and tie it down. We'll go ahead and do that let it sit for a little while, and then I'll come back and show you guys how I finished installing it and styling it. I went ahead and did my makeup while I was waiting because I always feel like the final reveal looks a little bit better when your face is done, everything is put together. So I wanted to make sure this wig got a fair chance. Um, I did take the elastic blend off, and then I went ahead and I added this, where did she go? My, oh, Kenra Silkening Gloss. This is a basically like a Garnier Fructis kind of shine. What are my lights doing? Kind of like a Garnier Fructis that sleek and shine, but a more high-end version. I do like the texture of this hair and I like the pattern. It's a little messy, but I like that it still has a little bit of curl to it. Let's go ahead and take this scarf off and see what we're working with. I did notice that um, these knots, these knots are really big and they're really dark. This is what we're working with right now. And I will go ahead and add powder to it just to kind of help with the shine. But like, this is my hair. These knots are really big. Like, I don't think I've ever seen this before. And maybe it's because they're not bleached. And most of the wigs I've been getting have pre-bleached knots or at least the very front of it is so it could just be that but i'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of powder just to take the shine off i'm gonna take my powder and i'm gonna put a little bit in the part to kind of help define that more and then i'm gonna curl this and that is gonna be it This is it for the final look. I went ahead and I used my T3 to add some curls. The hair itself, I was able to curl it. And let me go ahead and put a little more sleek and shine just to make it nice and soft and silky looking and back up so you guys can see. 
this is what the hair looks like. So after I curled it, like the ends aren't as frizzy. I think the hair is beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. First attempt at some little baby swoops and everything else and this is it. All right guys, I had to take a minute and try to get this together because I tried to install this wig and I absolutely did not like how it came out. I used it for other videos, but yeah, we can't go out like that. So I did go ahead, wash the hair, and then I styled it on my mannequin head. So we have some curls that are going to stay. This has been curled for over a day now. And yeah, she looks a lot better already. Um, I did go ahead and pluck the parting space a little bit more as well. So that is more defined because that is something I didn't like how it came out when I installed it. I have some scar tape and I went ahead and I put that here in the parting space, which helps to not only hide the holes, but it helps to hide the grid lines from the lace. And it's supposed to kind of help with the knots as well. So they're not as obvious. So. This is what the parting space looks like now, much better than when I had it earlier. So we're gonna try this again, and I'm going to see how tight I can get this. Since I have my wig grip on, it should be fine. And since it is a T part, I know the sides are supposed to stay pretty much covered anyway. There's not a lot of lace on the side to help hide the tracks. I'm just gonna put these on the tightest setting they could go. I'm gonna go ahead and comb, put the comb in the back. And then, oh yeah, that is way better than what I had the first time. And honestly, I'm gonna come in closer I gotta do something about these flyaways here. But I'm gonna come in closer so you guys can see. I'm gonna probably just put some powder on and then I don't know that I feel like, I mean, I guess I could glue it, but I don't really feel like I need to because yeah, I'll put some powder in the front, but just so you guys can see, like this is how it looks on my head. So you can see a little bit where the tape is and then where it actually is on my forehead, but I can just put some powder. It is laying a lot flatter. You can see my part. This is much better and these curls are much better. So I'm just gonna make sure the wig is secure around on my wig grip. And I love using these because you don't have to worry about your wig sliding back at all but this definitely worked out a lot better styling it first. So if I could give you guys any advice, do that. So this is how it looks. I could easily wear this glue list. Like this is not coming up at all. Of course it's gonna come up on the sides, but I mean, again, with a T part wig, yeah, I would probably just glue a little bit right here to hold this down, but even still, like I have enough space to cover my sideburns. Yeah, this is what it looks like. She is long, but it looks so much better with the curls. So we are just gonna wear her glueless. I love this wig. I was a little worried at first because it was not curling, but I love the color of this. And the fact that it's a T part, you can actually move the part to the side if you wanted to. But yeah, this looks really good and it matches very well with my skin tone. I did put a little bit of powder and I like this like this. I don't feel like I need to do much else with it. So this is a very nice surprise. Okay, center parts, I know y'all are the thing right now and I'm trying to get with it, but I love this hair. I love this color. Absolutely gorgeous. So we could do some baby hairs. We could glue this down in the front, but I don't feel like I need to. I think it looks good the way it is. So 
Glueless for the win. Thank you so much, Eunice Hair, for sending me this wig. I absolutely love it. I'm glad I took the time to customize it a little bit more because at first I was like, mm -mm, can't do it. This length though, back up so y'all can get all 24 of these inches. See what I'm saying? We got a glueless install. I ain't even mad. Like I would straight leave the house like this. Very proud. Thank you for sticking with me till the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about this wig. Would you wear it? I kind of want to see. Let's move it to the side. I mean, it does feel a little, just a little bit. You see that? I prefer a side part and I think that looks good. And it's not, I mean, it's not too crazy as far as the length. This side needs to actually be curled more. So it doesn't look like it's lopsided on my head, if that makes any sense. Yeah, we can definitely do her to the side. Now that's more my style. That's what I'm talking about. It's just long. I'm probably going to cut some layers in the front. But overall, I love this wig. I love how it looks. And look at me doing something new with some long hair. Okay, girl. Thank y'all for sticking with me till the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think about this wig. I mean, I barely had to do anything. Y'all saw after I customized it. Just put it on my head and go. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.